welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. You have the perfect look for the audition today. I love the look, love the dress. Who are you and where like are you from? Angel. My name is Pranayska Mishra and I'm nine years old and I'm from Tampa, Florida. From Tampa, Florida, welcome. How does it feel to be nine years old on the biggest stage in the world? Scared and of course, like really excited. Yeah? Yeah. Who did you bring with you from Florida? Um, I came with my mom, my dad, and my little sister. <laughs> and who is going to be the first person that you're going to call if this goes well for you today? Um, definitely, I will call my grandma because Aww. I'm. she always um, wanted me to be in this big stage. And now, finally, I'm here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can I ask one question? Who's your favorite artist in the world? Um, I have more than one. Go on, give me a couple. Aretha Franklin, Wendy Houston, and Tina Turner. Okay. And who would be your favorite judge if we we're talking about favorites? I have more than one. No, you can only say one. <laughs> I don't know, it's you and Heidi. Oh. It's me, it's me! <laughs> it was going so well. <laughs> Is everyone in here ready to yep. hear? Here we go. She's funny. When I was a little girl and say that Heidi Klum pushed a goat and buzzer for you.
I just feel so. I don't know. I've been. I've Are been, you shaking? I just have been. Like doing I'm this shaking for too. Years. Congratulations! You deserve it. You are absolutely incredible. She did really, really well, Grandma. She got my golden buzzer. What did you know? Oh, she's crying. I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to hear what you're going to sing next. I mean, she as she is, yeah. really, really yeah. good. Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? We're good. How are you, more importantly? We're a bit nervous. I need a wee, but I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your names, please. I'm Denise. And I'm Stefan. OK, and how do you know each other? We're married. No. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Where did you meet? We're both involved with an award ceremony and Denise was presenting and I was the guy playing piano for two hours while everyone else has a three-course meal. <laughs> Got it. But we met on the tube train going there and uh, I didn't realise he was the bloke who was playing for me that evening and he leaned over and asked me for the time. It was 2006, so, you know, people did that then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the chances of a blind man asking a blind woman on a train for the time. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how many years ago? That was 18, 18 years ago. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Yeah, I've got three older ones. Two of them are here today. And then we've got one together. Dimitri, he's 11. I'm talking about you. <laughs> OK, well, nice to meet you both. And why this year BGT? Tell us. Well, let's be honest, as performers, the last few years haven't been a lot of fun. And then just as everybody was getting back into work, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And so I was having chemo and having my, half of my favourite boob taken off. <laughs> <laughs> Thelma and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, and how are you now? I'm fine, I've had a clear scan and my hair's grown back. Yeah. And you've got a whole new head of hair, which yeah. is a totally different yeah, colour, and curly. I was a ginge before. <laughs> OK, so well, you've come through it, and now you thought, right, we're going to come on BGT. Yeah, we just want to grab the bull by the horns, you know, and just yes. t take every opportunity. Yeah. OK, well, look, Amazing. we are really rooting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Steph will just rope his way round the piano. You think I was blind or something, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> They're very funny old ones, that old time. Does he? <laughs> are you ready?
Wolfgang is there, is on their feet. Takes it all. Who's a standing small? The size of victory. That's her destiny. I was in your arms, thinking I belonged there. I figured it made sense. Thank you. I'm a mess, this show is killing me! Look how bad it is! Dimitri, what did you think of your parents' performance? Very impressive and good. Very impressive. We always say this, you know, without people like you, this show is nothing. And it's true. I'm so happy that you made the decision to come on our show. I think you're both amazing people. Thank you. Your whole attitude is actually quite unbelievable. Alicia. In the opening chat, I thought, well, you're so naturally funny. I wondered whether you were going to do comedy. Yes, I hope you weren't disappointed. No, no. <laughs> that vocal was faultless. It was beautiful. I'm actually inspired by you. I've learned something today about your positive state of mind and the ability to have sense of humor about yourself. Yeah. We all need to know that. You are an example. You really have. I admire you and inspired by you. Bruno, yes or no? Yes! Judges will decide. Alicia. Huge yes for me. Million yeses, congratulations. Thank you. Where is the audience? How many are in the audience? I think it's about 4,000. Yeah. What? That's great. But yeah. Are you make... actually having a laugh? No. no. <laughs> but they only make that noise when the acts are good. And you were really good. Really good. What if the hate was love? What if the sky was green? And all the bombs were confetti? And I loved all of me. What if the old was new? What if the sick were few? And we could soothe the pain and turn our tears into rain. What if the time just stopped and we could stay right here? What if we smiled at funerals? Cause death ain't what we fear. If I'm a fool for dreaming, then what?
things that I can't explain. Howie, what did you think? The fact that you're singing your original song and the beauty of the words and why you're writing this song, I'm so glad that I'm sitting 30 feet of watching your life and your future change forever. Yeah, it seems like you are wiser than uh, just being 16 years old, you know? But it gets screechy when it goes, when it goes up there. And I know about screechy with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like yummier when it's a little lower down here, I guess. But it was beautiful. I know that in the morning now. I love the song, I love you. I think you have so much to give to the music world. Keep doing what you're doing. That was beautiful. I really loved that first part of the song. With that lyric, your voice, everything about this audition was you. And I just thought it was so interesting. This, to me, was a brilliant audition. Thank you so much, Simon. All right, let's vote. I think that you have a very special and very unique voice, but the level of talent this year is just mind-blowing. But I want to see what else you have up your sleeve. I say yes, I want to see you again. Thank you. I'm giving you a yes. yes. Thank you so much, guys. Four yeses. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, one more time. You had no idea that you were gonna be on Canada's Got Talent tonight. No. It's crazy. Well, hopefully the big surprise on you becomes the big surprise on us. Go ahead, young lady. Thank you. She looks terrified. Tell me what you're thinking. I'm very thankful. You're not mad at your sister, are you? No. I don't think the lyrics are right, you know? You're not a creep, and you do belong here. <laughs> would, would you have ever applied for a show like this yourself? Never, no. Why not? You always think, like, can't be that person. Like, I, I'm not good like them, like the people you see on TV. You definitely belong on a stage like this. Hey, party. You know, a lot of people have no idea how difficult it is to get on a stage and sing with little to no preparation and to be able to do that in front of the entire country but still manage to deliver what you delivered tonight. You did something amazing and you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. I'm going to start off the voting by giving you your first vote of yes to allow you Thank to come you. back. You get a yes from me. 
Thank you. Trish? This is your third yes. Thanks. That's all you needed, but Cardi? Yes, sir! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? My name is Innocent Masugu. Can I just say, you look amazing. Thank you. Thank well, you. I love that top. Yeah. I love it. So this was actually made by my mom. Yeah. Aww. That's so cute. It looks really nice on you. We're <laughs> <laughs> moving to fashion. OK. <laughs> it's all right. Great. OK, well, look, tell me about you. I'm Innocent Masugo from South Africa, but I live in London. OK, now, do you think you're going to win? Yes. <laughs> OK. Well, I think we, let's find out. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> That's special, isn't it? Suriento, un uomo in braccio, una ragazza, dopo che aveva pianto, poi si schierisce la voce e ricomincia il canto. I found that overwhelming, yes. actually. Yep. By the end of that song, I felt like I was just hit in the chest yep. with this force, like it felt divine almost. Yeah. This is your calling. Oh, I couldn't agree more. It was very, very special. You are special. Diamond says it every year. You've got to keep raising the bar when we're looking for talent. You we have can't to. 
look back, we have to have people who go beyond our expectations, and that's exactly what you did today. Hands down, in the 17 years that we've been doing Britain's Got Talent, you are by far the best opera singer we have ever had. Oh, wow. I think it was because your mum made your top. Yes, yeah. yes, it's the energy prop. <laughs> I'm really curious, have you had people who've said you're not very good? The worst thing was uh, you won't get really far with opera, so stop. I hope this idiot is watching this right now. Me too. <laughs> because that was wonderful. I mean, seriously, wonderful. So heartfelt and so powerful. You deserve this break. You really, really do. I have a feeling I know which way this is going. Bruno. Yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. Amanda. It's a yes from me. What do you think? Yeah. That's about 4,000 yeses. Goodness. You're amazing! Oh, what a great audition. That was unbelievable. It was. This year is all about real people, it feels like. Yeah, you're right. That... Hello. And what is your name? My name is Dee Dee Simon. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Dee Dee. Tell us about you. I'm from Oakland, California. I am a registered nurse at San Quentin State Prison. And I've been singing for most of my young life. And I'm just so happy to be here today. So you are uh, a nurse at? San Quentin State Prison. And you've done that for how many years? 19. Wow. Wow. Have the prisoners ever heard you sing? When I first got there, after I sang a song, a riot broke out. Then I had to triage everybody. Wow. So I waited all these years, and then they asked me again, and I just did it two months ago, and it was peace. <laughs> do they know? Do they know at work that you're here tonight? No, I haven't told anyone at work that I'm here. Just my family. And what brought you here this year? Destiny. Yeah. I don't see myself anyplace else but here right now, Simon. And Didi, what is the what's the big dream? You know. It's always been a door. I get to this door and I never get to go through it because of something. Yeah. So my big dream is to make that door and walk through it. I love that. And take care of my family. What a great answer. OK. I promise you we're all rooting for you, so best Thank of luck. Thank you.
Sofia. I thought it was spectacular. Thank you. You know, it's coming from your soul. It was a beautiful treat to have you here tonight. Thank you. Heidi. No, not just to be honest, I think you one of the best singers we've had this season. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It was incredible. It was just building and getting better and better. Then the shoes came off, and you were just down <laughs> on the floor, and you were just giving it your all. You can really feel how much you want this spot, and I feel like you nailed it. Thank you. Howie. You said every time I went through that door, something happened, and I couldn't go through the door. And I think that you are out. You oh. are free. <laughs> Welcome to the world that you deserve to be in. Thank you. Oh, not just for us. Well, see. There's nothing more frustrating than when you've got talent and you just can't be heard. And I promise you, tomorrow, things are going to just be better. Sweet they are. And I think you're going to inspire a lot of other people. Would you dedicate this song to anyone? To everyone that was told no. Keep going, because one yes can change your life. No, not just and the who are you going to call if you get through? My mama. <laughs> Is she here? Yes, yeah, she's right there. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Diddy, I mean, seriously, you picked one of the hardest songs in the world, and you absolutely nailed it. I think you did amazing. Thank you. OK, Howie. You know, you said one yes can change your life. I'll yes. give you your first yes. Thank you. Honey. Second yes. Yes. Three yeses. Yes. Yes. I think Thank that you. makes it one, two, three, four yeses. Hello. Very nice to meet you. And what is your name, please? Uh, I'm Richard Goodall. I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, and uh, Richard, how old are you? I'm 55. 55. And what do you do for a living? I've been a janitor for 23 years. Uh, the kids call me Mr. Richard. OK. So tell me what the big dream is, please. My big dream? Uh, I like to sing. I love to sing. So. OK. Does everyone know you, you've come out today to audition? Uh, just, just my close-knit friends and, and my fiance, Angie. Oh. <laughs> is she here with you today? No. So I'll... she's the one you're going to call? Yeah. After the audition, yeah? Yes, immediately, yes. OK. All right. And the song you've chosen today, tell me why you chose it. Uh, well, uh, the, the song speaks for itself, so... OK. All right. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Let's do it. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, oh, you a bit nervous. Yeah. Uh... It's OK, Richard. This has been a long time coming. So. Oh, bless you. Let's go, Richard! Shake off those nerves. We're here. We're rooting for you, Richard. Good luck. I hope he's good. I know. I, hope I really so. do. Just a small town girl. Oh my God. Living in a lonely world. What? She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going Tip of you. Whoa. 
Richard, you are my hero. Facing these halls, trying to talk. Because that was special, genuinely special. I think America is going to love you. I mean, that was spectacular, that was fun. This was an amazing surprise. I think you were perfect to come to AGT because you made our night. Thank you, man. You're beautiful. You, and maybe because you've been doing it for 23 years, but you just cleaned up. You just... You know, I would imagine every kid that has ever been in a school with you is just screaming. I just think you're amazing. We love you, Richard! Yeah. Richard, 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 you knocked me off my feet. I mean, we all had the best time with you up there on that stage. I really, really feel something when I see you up there and hear you up there. And now... This is what I'm going to do for you, because I love you. I'm late, but I'm here Though I used to be romantic, I forgot somehow. Time can make you blind, but I see you now as we live. The cold settles in, it's been a long week. He deserved it. And, and now I think we should go uh, and call your fiance. Should we call yeah. her? Go and call her. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've never even been on a plane. This was not on my radar to come to California. It's just a dream come true. Happy you came. I got, I got the gold, gold buzzer. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> she said, I knew it, I knew it, I told you. <laughs> that was amazing. That was incredible. <laughs> and this is for you, little keepsake. Thank you so much. From your golden buzzer. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Ooh. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Natalie Morris. And what will you be doing for us today? I will be singing you a song. Do you sing professionally? I actually sing um, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm the anthem singer at oh, their home cool. games. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Whoa. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, singing for the leaves, that's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty wild. How are you, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling nervous. I'm shaking. I'm just, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> really? You sing in front of Leafs fans. But he's not, not singing the anthem, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. All right, the stage is yours. <laughs>
Well, for somebody that was a little bit nervous, I would love to see what you're like with 100% confidence Ooh. because you blew the roof off the entire building. That was amazing. Thank you. You know, one of my favorite things is watching someone do something they were so clearly born to wow. do. You delivered, girl. <laughs> you delivered. <laughs> You were such a powerhouse, so fantastic, and I think people in Canada are going to fall in love with you. Thank you, Trish. Thank you. This moment is changing your life forever. I promise you. Should we vote? Please do. Yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. I am going to end it off and tell you that it is a yes -er. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. Good evening. Hello. How are you? A little nervous, but also very nervous. What is your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Stephanie Rainey. How old are you? I'm 36. I'm guessing you're going to sing for us tonight? I am. And for how long you've been doing this? Oh, since I was probably 18. Is this your first time, like, attempting to be in a competition like AGT? Yeah, I've had a very kind of roller coaster career, I would say. The song that I'm going to play for you today um, has had quite a big moment in the past. And we made it in just a tiny room and put it up one Monday morning. And it just, by the end of the day, it had a million views. What? Wow. And then I signed a deal after the song came out. I think I probably didn't fully know who I was back when I signed that deal. The journey from then until now has been hard. It's a tough industry, you know? Yeah. You have to be resilient. And I think sometimes when the downs come, you have to be willing to kind of pick yourself back yeah, up. And yeah. um, so here I am. So the song is called? It's called Please Don't Go. I wrote it about losing my nephew. When I was a teenager, he was about to turn one. It was the day before his first birthday, and he passed away. Oh, sorry. And it took me a long time to write a song about it. Honestly, I was about to give up music, so I was like, I want to make something for me that I believe in. So this song means more to me than I can actually like, even describe. Good for you for doing that and not giving up. I do know how difficult the music business is. There's so many great people who are giving up. And that's why a platform like this is still really, really important. Absolutely. And who do you play with? Uh, my best friend, uh, Sarah, she's here with me today. And uh, she's been on every single step of this journey with me from the very beginning. OK, well, look, we're rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> your hand till it goes cold I hold my tears until you go with all the life that leaves your bones it soaks the purpose from my own
Cause I know how to hold you best I'll keep you through these last few breaths And kiss and love you till the end song you can tell what you went through it was very simple and perfect very few acts move people and that was one of the most relatable emotional moments we've had on season 19 so thank you so much oh yeah your voice sounded amazing on this stage it was just a real special moment well done thank you of all the new songs I've heard this year, this is the best by a mile. And even though it's about something really sad, it's real. And your voice is beautiful. A lot of people are going to resonate with that song and you. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. Stephanie, I'm going to give you your first yes. I'm also going to give you a yes. You've got a yes. Inside my soul. I think I'm going to give you about 4,000 yeses. That was what I call a moment. That song is so beautiful. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lauren. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm so good. I'm just over the moon right now. Tell everybody who you are and where you're from. I'm Lauren Allred. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a singer. Um, one of my favorite movies ever was The Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite songs in the movie is the song Never enough. And then I found out, actually, the girl who sings the song in the movie wasn't singing the song. It was actually Lauren's vocal. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you
you, Lauren. Howie. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's amazing that such great talent is so not known and behind the scenes and so wonderful of you to bring it forward and introduce it to the world. Look up, cause here I, come. I mean, how lucky are all of us right now that we got to witness this live <laughs> right in front of our eyes. It was just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Heidi. Thank you. Mel. <laughs> I'm actually lost for words because that is just amazing what you can do. Thank I'm you so much. Away. Thank I'm blown you. away. That was honestly spectacular. And to have that moment almost taken away from you. Yeah. And no one knows it was you. And now you've got the guts to come back on this show and tell America, this is me, is so special. I really hope that America get behind yeah. you and give you the break that I genuinely believe that you deserve because you are an extraordinarily good artist. You know, there was, there was a while when I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes and I thought maybe that's what I was meant to do. And no, until never, no, <laughs> until no, now, no. You know, I'm ready and I'm here. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Simon's dream team is gonna leave. Simon has not missed. Hey, hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well. And what is your name, please? Reed Wilson. Very nice to meet you, Reed. Nice to meet you too. And where are you from? Um, I'm from Alabama. Oh, fantastic. All right. Okay, and how old are you, Reed? I'm 14 years 14. old. 14. Okay, I'm guessing you're gonna sing? Yes, I am. Okay, so how long have you been singing for? I've been singing all my life, but um, the past year I've been kind of working on it a lot more and um, singing in front of people more and just pursuing it because yeah. it's definitely my dream. All right, Reed, we are all rooting for you. And I always say this and it's happened. Two minutes really, really can change your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can do. All right. All right. He is so nervous. Can you imagine what this is like? Come on, Reed. Whoa, 
So, Reed. Well, Reed, we weren't expecting that. <laughs> Hi. I think you're absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. I love how you also took your mic off and then you just gave a little bit more stage presence. Well done. Sophia. You were so nervous at the beginning. I'm like, oh my God, he's not going to be able to put his stuff together. But you did and you did amazingly. It sounded spectacular from here. You know, I shut my eyes for a moment when you were singing. Just. Mm -hmm listen to your voice and then I open them again and there's this sweet young kid. Is there one artist that's inspired you, Reed? Um, yes. I love Aretha Franklin so much. Oh. And that's definitely the dream to have like a big name like that. She was the best, wasn't she? Yes. Your parents must have great taste in music. Right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sold you out. He sold you out. <laughs> I was bowled over because I was surprised. I got surprised, first of all, you're just a 14-year-old kid from Alabama, so I would imagine, I put myself in your position, I, you were very nervous, and you did come off incredibly nervous. That was a surprise. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? That stage is where dreams come true. Yes. Do you believe in dreams? I do, yes. Well, one of them is about to come true. because everything, the sound and who you are is nothing close to anything I was expecting. You're a big talent. Aretha is in the room. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What is your name? My name is Sai Jitakonda. Sai, I know who you are. Tell them how I know who you are. Okay. I got a call from Miss Lily Singh this morning, and she had asked me to come here and audition. Um, so I literally threw some makeup on and got <laughs> dressed, and I'm here. I like kind of know stuff about you, but I actually don't know that much about you. What do you do for a living? I work in cybersecurity as a risk assurance and service analyst. Fun! Yeah, it's great. <laughs> do you perform off of TikTok? I don't. My parents don't even know I have TikTok. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, I, I don't perform. Do. Now they do. <laughs> I have quite a lot of stage fright and that has held me back for a lot of years. So when you called, I was like, there's no way, there is no way that on this stage with this show, with you calling me that I could let any of that get in the way. So wow. here well, I, I love am. That. I love that. Well, I wish you so much luck. Thank you. Jealous of the rain that falls upon your skin. 
It's closer than my hands have been Oh, I'm jealous of the rain And I told you when you left me There's nothing to forgive But I always thought you'd come back Tell me all you found was Heartbreak and misery <laughs> yes. You done good. You know, I feel so blessed to have this job for moments like this. Your performance was amazing. Uh, I'm excited to see what's next for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Party. You're in cybersecurity, but I mean, this is your real true calling. This is where you belong. It seems like you've been doing nothing but this for the last 10 years. And now I'm going to follow your journey, which I think is going to go a long way right here on Canada's Got Talent, a million dollars. Thank season. you, Howie. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. What can I say to you, girl? This experience of you saying your, your family didn't even know you had TikTok videos. When I started, I didn't tell my family. But I didn't believe that that opportunity actually existed for someone like me to do something like this. Your life is legit about to change. And I'm so happy I'm part of it. This is Thank amazing. you. I'm going to start you off with a big fat yes. Thank How you. My yes is in shape. <laughs> Trish, it's a yes for me. Thank you. Cardi, take us off. Hey, yes, hey. Oh, <laughs> yes, hey. And I want to come meet you as well. I want to come. I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much. You crushed it. So nice to meet you. Thank, thank you for so coming all this way. You crushed it. You killed it. Never doubt yourself. No more stage fright ever again. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. And what's your name, please? My name is Liv Warfield. Liv Warfield. Yes. And tell me a little bit about you. Oh, well, I am from Chicago, Illinois, by way of Peoria, Illinois. I sing a little soul, rock and roll, R&B, everything. And you write your own material? I do write my own music, yes. Yeah. And yeah. this is something you do full time? Absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've done what? A lot of gigs? Yes, I've yeah. been on stage with the greatest in the world, Prince. Um, oh! Wow. And also um, Nancy Wilson of Heart. I've been on a lot of stages and I'm just glad to be here to be able to do the music and do what I love. I just want to represent that, you oh, know? Amazing. Thank you. So I ask every singer this, Liv, how are you finding the music business in general <laughs> as a performer? <laughs> um, I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, the industry is really hard because things have changed over time. Yeah. But I continue to push just because I feel like I have a store. I have it. Uh, I just want to inspire people because I haven't quit. Right. And I won't. Right. You know? Well, the great thing about having an audience is we feed off the audience. Yes. You know, that's why we have an audience, you yes. know? Yes. Um, so when we feel that energy, it makes our job so much easier. So right. forget about us. Yeah. They're yes. the only ones that matter. 100%. Yes. Okay, should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Okay. 
Hello, how are you doing? Wow, that's a big band. Wow. Oh my God, how many? how I felt just then. Okay. It was like being, in a good way, punched in the face by your <laughs> energy, the band, yes. all these years of frustration, yes. and you've come on here, and I'm sorry, I can't give you a yes. I've got to give you one of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give it up one more time for Liv Warfield! Great 
nothing is going to happen after this. <laughs> You deserve that. Thank you. Yeah, that is the very least I could do. Bless. <laughs> really? No, really. We are. Um, we are all thankful. I'm thankful. Just oh thank my you. God! You've just thank made you. our show great. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Come on. Oh, that's for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, that was amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jade Masur. How old are you? I just turned 15 years old. Aww. 15? Wow, incredible, very young. Uh, what are you going to be doing for us today? Um, today I'm going to be singing for you. How do you feel? Are you nervous? Um, kind of nervous, but I'm not. I'm, I'm more nervous about the talking than the singing part. Aww. You're more nervous about this part right here? Uh-huh. Really? Why is that? Um, well, I've been diagnosed with autism a few years ago, and talking always been hard for me. That's why I'm singing. I can just express myself. Absolutely. Uh, who is here with you today? Uh, well, I got my mom off stage right here. Hey! <laughs> Let me ask you this. You're on the biggest stage in Canada. Why CGT? I want to win. That's, uh. that's what's up. Well, I love that. Best of luck to you. The stage is yours. Thank you. <laughs> You may think you see who I really am But you never know me every day It's as if I play a part Now I see if I wear a mask I can't fool the world But I cannot fool my heart Oh Perfect example of what a million dollar winner could look like on this season of CGT. Absolutely. This is Canada's Got Talent and Sweetheart. You showed this theater, you showed the judges, and more importantly yourself, that you've got talent. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I think that this stage in this country is about diversity. And that includes neurodiversity. And that spectrum allows you to shine in different ways than another person. You are a beautiful young lady with an amazing talent. You really are. And what do you want in life? What are you looking for? I want to be a singer and just travel the world with my singing. You want that? You want that dream? Yes, definitely. How can that come true for you? Canada's good talent. With Canada's Got Talent. Yes. So you want to be on again, right? Yes. You want to go farther than you've already gone. Definitely. I can help. I can help you. I can give you I 
kiddo. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. What are you thinking? Isn't she amazing? You are a star. What I watched, what I heard is worth a million dollars. It really is. Thank you. Jade Mattia, you are Howie's golden buzzer, which means you're going straight through to the next round. And you've also just won $25,000 from CIBC. One more time for Jade Mattia. What's your name? Taryn. Taryn, where are you from? Uh, Egham in Surrey. I used to live there. Englefield yes. Green. Englefield Green is where I live. Yes. <laughs> O-M-G. <laughs> um, Taryn, why have you decided to come on Britain's Got Talent? I, I love to make people smile. And I think my voice is all right. So... <laughs> and Taryn, did you bring anyone with you? Yeah, I did. I brought one of my students, Lexi Ray. She's Woo! over there. <laughs> and she's with her mum. <laughs> So I work with special needs children um, to use music as a way. <laughs> if you won Britain's Got Talent, how would that change your life? It would mean everything. Well, darling, listen, you've got two minutes. Take a deep breath. Good luck. Thank you.
amazing tones and raspiness that, you know the old saying, you could sing the phone book. I feel like you've got that classic yeah. voice. But above and beyond that, you, my darling, you are special. Honestly, from the minute you stepped foot, just chatting to you, you are so down to earth, so sweet, so humble. Thank and then you me. knocked it out of the park. But I can see how much that moment meant to you. You're physically shaking now, and I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled you've got this chance. Thank you so much. Amazing. Because I know I'm not bragging here, but I had the honor to meet Carol King. She stayed at my house. And when you started this song, I said, oh, God, how is she going to do this? <laughs> you made me forget about her version. You made it so much your own, with so much feeling, and, the, and, and the, the color of your voice is unique, and you're a very, very, very special person, my darling. Thank you, you are. so much. You sold us a complete dummy, didn't you? I mean, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I might do OK. I could see you were nervous, and I was thinking, this probably isn't going to be very good. <laughs> and, uh, and then you started singing. And this is how people should sing. This is proper, proper singing. Has someone ever told you that you couldn't do this? Yes. OK. I could see you were nervous, and I was thinking, yeah, I bet you somebody at some point has said to you, you haven't got a great voice, or nothing's going to ever happen, and boy, did you prove that person wrong. And that's what that golden buzzer is all about. Yeah. And Bruno, brilliant. Yes. And you are a little star. Thank you so much. Get the gold! Superb, absolutely superb. That was great. You're the best! How did it feel? I don't even know what to say. I think I've wet myself. <laughs>
Incredible. Wow, Sheldon. How did that feel? So good. <laughs> so it good. Did. Yes. So good. I have to say, oh, you're gorgeous, by you the are. way. I just you are to gorgeous. Say that. And I'm not just saying that. Heidi. You do look gorgeous, and you did Thank a very you, beautiful rendition with that song. I mean, you nailed it. You belted it out. I loved it. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you, Heidi. I'm blown away. Howie. Yeah, I am blown away. I got to tell you, my soapbox in life is mental health. And the biggest hurdles that we have in life are the hurdles that we have yeah. inside <laughs> ourselves. Not only did you step it up from anything you've ever done on AGT before, but I think you did something wonderful for the world. Yeah. You really did. Yeah. Thank you. I always felt with Sheldon, this was unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And your voice is so distinct. And you are a proper, what I would call, front man singer, you Thank know? You. So congratulations and welcome back. Thank you so much. Hi. What's your name? My name is Jordan. Jordan, where are you from? I am from Edmonton, Alberta. Shout out hey. Edmonton, okay. And can I ask how old you are? I am 16. 16? Oh, baby. Dang, okay. And what are you going to be doing for us today? I am going to be singing for you guys tonight. Is anyone here with you today? My mom is here today. She dropped everything to be here. Aww. So has she always supported your singing? Yeah. Oh, God. From a young age, she's always been very proud of me, parading me around everywhere, making me sing in her nail shop. You're amazing. So, yeah. So you sing in nail shops? Yes. What is it like for you to finally sing in a room with people wearing shoes and socks? <laughs> is this what you want to do for the rest of your life? Oh, yes. This is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. Well, this is the gateway to your dreams coming true. Good okay? luck. The stage is yours. Thank you, thank you so much. Jordan! My goodness! How old did you say you were? I am 16. You're yeah. 16 Crazy. years old! Wow! You got range, you got vocals, you got talent, Jordan. Big thank you cross. so much. You really rose to the occasion. I can't believe that you just play in nail salons. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the big time, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Howie. Some people are just born to be on stage. You are one of those people. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Trish. Cardi. I absolutely think you are better than any singer that I have seen so far this season. I thought it was absolutely incredible. to start off the voting. I think you can go all the way. I'm starting you off with your first yes. Second yes. Shall we? Yes. yes. 
Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Go hug your mom. Go hug your mom right now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, everyone. My name's Sydney Christmas. Is it? Sydney yes. Christmas. <laughs> That's an unbelievable name. I, I love know. that. It's terrible, isn't it? It's not. My middle name's worse. What is, what is it? it? Mary. No. <laughs> I'm seriously name you that? No, I'm joking. Yeah. I really want <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Oh, my gosh, that is genius. <laughs> Sydney, where are you from? Raised in Kent, just moved to London. <laughs> are you a student? Do you work? What do you do? I'm currently working front of house at a gym. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, but that's not what you want to do. No, absolutely not. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you want to do, Sydney? I'm trying to be in the West End. I just want to sing. Oh, oh bless her. What are you going to sing for us today? Uh, the first song that I ever sung, actually. I haven't sung it in 24 years. How old are you? You look 24. 28. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. So, what song did you sing it for? Uh, tomorrow. Uh. From Annie. From Annie. Yeah. Oh. Simon, that is Simon's worst song. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll sing it better than when I was four oh, as well. Well, well. So do we. I can't wait. Thank you. Come on, Sydney. Come on, Sydney. Let's have it. <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow. But you bought a dollar there tomorrow. There'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow. So there's none. I'm stuck.
the day away. So funny how warm how brilliant your presence was the minute you walked on the stage but how you were like entertaining everyone but then you brought us the most heartfelt beautiful version of that song and that was the best version I have ever heard in my life so I'm gonna do this We, we just heard in the room, it, it was, you know, it's rare. Thank you so much. Thanks for screaming for me. Everyone's away, you know, it's tough to get that break, you know, for something which you really love. You so deserve what you just got. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your control was amazing. And... I used to hate that song, and now I absolutely love it. Good for you. That was Amazing. brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. See you in the live show. Yeah, <laughs> what just happened there? She really deserved that, though, Charles. So good, yeah. She'd probably give me chills all over my body. I was like, oh, my God. Everybody was just in the palm of your hand. I have never experienced anything like that. Really? Ever. I really felt hurt. That was something. Oh, good. I'll never forget that. I look at her and I go, my daughter's going to love her, my nan's going to love her, and my mum's going to love her. Yeah. That's how I always judge it, like the three different generations. Yeah. Yes. I wrote this song for my hero. Mom, this song is for you. <laughs>
Let me up to overcome all the doubt with your love. Always right by my side. Push me to keep on dreaming. Thank you for just believing. Emotional now. Uh, you wrote that song for your mum, obviously. And Tina, you are like a little lioness, aren't you? You really are. Uh, you've uh, always been there by his side. And this is the second time, obviously, in a row, Cody's now singing his own material, uh, which is a huge step up. And I am so proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Heidi. What a beautiful love letter to your mother. Your appreciation, I mean, it doesn't get more heartfelt than what you've just done. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Howie, what a gift to AGT. What a gift to talent. Cody Lee, you are the biggest gift I have ever experienced on this stage. <laughs> you know, I believe that everybody on my dream team has what it takes to make it to the end but uh, I can always use more.
one spot out one of spot. eight. Come with me, team. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Hello. Who are you? I am Rebecca Strong. Rebecca, where are you from? I'm from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. I'm Dene Sousline, so I'm First Nation. <laughs> and what do you do? I sing. How did you get into music? My dad was a musician, and he started a band with me and my sisters when I was younger, and I continued. Does this mean a lot to your family as well then? Yes, of course. They're actually in the crowd right now. Are, they? <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm, I'm nervous. There was a saying, if you're not nervous, then you're not passionate about it, so. <laughs> well, the stage is yours. Good luck. Thank you. people's hearts tonight. This stage has brought me a lot of confidence and just showing who I am. You know what? You have such a beauty. You really do. And uh, a sweetness. And I think you're not only making Canada proud, but you make your indigenous culture very proud. That was an amazing moment, young lady. <laughs> well, thank you so much. The prize for Canada's Got Talent is $1 million this season. Every golden buzzer is $25,000. How would that change your life? Money doesn't buy happiness, of course, but it would change our life. Um, my parents, my dad especially, he's old, so I would, <laughs> I would love for him to retire. <laughs> Daddy, stand up! You know, I am a believer that every person on this planet has a purpose. You're here on this stage, proving to yourself you're a singer, showing exactly who you are. Right now, this moment, this is your purpose. And you know what my purpose is? Sharpest words wanna cut me down. My purpose is to help people like you. This is brave, this is bruised, 
This is who I'm meant to be This is me I'm so proud of her. <laughs> she's worked so hard, and she's an angel. <laughs> she is an angel, Rebecca. You are our angel. One more time for Rebecca Strong. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good <laughs> oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> 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 Don't go there. Okay. <laughs> 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 what do we I like you. I like your baby. The time for uh, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. <laughs> I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yes. No, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like <laughs> to okay. see David inside <laughs> his house. Oh, he's yeah. never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. And I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see his. Actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. <laughs> this is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. 
Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> I was on a show called America's Got Talent. That's why I know you, Simon. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent. And uh, who's seen that? Who's seen America's Got Talent? Who's seen me on America's Got Talent? You seen me? Have you seen me? Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who vo uh, of course you did in London. I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist. She didn't open her mouth the whole time. You'll never know what it feels like losing a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know. People ask me all the time, they're like, you still talk to Darcy? I'm like, she's 14, bruh, no. I'm a grown man, what am I gonna do? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, no, man. <laughs> Plus, she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I talk to someone I hate? <laughs> Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. So is the devil, okay? Now. Understand, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio! <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio! <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. And today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine the rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, come on. Oh. And then, oh, I was on uh, Go Out the Jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those worms. And I was like, whoa. And then, then I saw even more worms. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me eat the worms. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. whoa. And I was being sick everywhere. And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. It was really fun meeting Ant and Deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. 
if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. I feel like we should get to know each other a bit closer. Please. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> My name is uh, Vigo. You want to try to? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> my name is. My name is. My name is Vigo. My name is. My name is Vigo. You are Bruno, the new guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a book. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me. Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. People tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently, they wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhab al I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shishkabab. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to face the mute, <coughs> the impressions. 
Actually, doing the, uh, the X Factor guy, all you have to do is, right at the very end, roar like a lion. <laughs> Simon Carl! <laughs> Thank you, and... <laughs> Here, we can witness a whole plethora of strange and fascinating creatures. That's good. Nice. The obligatory wild pack of street dancers and the balding middle-aged car enthusiast. <laughs> Look at the body on this. <laughs> I love the sexy curves, the exquisite contours, but most importantly, the two big airbags. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom would just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> what are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, humble Good looks, humility, generous, uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch, I'm great to go on holiday with, um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, God. Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows, four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. <laughs> I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like... <laughs> can I get £1.50, please? <laughs> That weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open. <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? But I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. 
Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform four is the 1252 service to London Kings Cross. And from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number eight. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. That is so true. It defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> death to us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favorite is and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America? In America, right? yeah. Boo. No, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are. don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick as pig shit. <laughs> Now he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. Exactly. James, you want. I said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> My Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline? Lord of mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale and for cattle on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like so nervous and so excited. <laughs> it's like being on the X Factor all over again. <laughs> oh my God, I just love being a celebrity. 
when my agent said I was doing an advert for Iceland, I rushed out to get a woolly hat, a woolly coat, and a passport. <laughs> Definitely, you'll come to Amy Charles' salon in Essex. I love Essex. I work in Essex. I live in Essex. It's all about Essex. <laughs> and I can spell Essex, I think. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> There's only one pricey. <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. 